so you just developed a project in google ai studio or in anti-gravity or in cursor or windsurf or any other ai code editor out there and now it's time to deploy that project you want to publish this project to a server and also you want to connect a domain name with your project so in this video i'm going to share a 100 percent free method to deploy your project and in terms of a domain name of course you have to buy a domain name but i'll guide you how you can connect your domain name with your deployed project so this is going to be a very detailed step-by-step -step guideline so just make sure that you watch this video until end but before we start let's just talk about today's sponsor today's sponsor is white product this is an ai app design tool you can just explain your app idea in here and it will create a very detailed high quality mobile app design that you can now directly prototype and also you can implement this design on flutter expo react native and ios for each screen you'll find detailed prompts so you can simply just copy these prompts and paste in your ai code editor to directly implement all of these designs inside your project so just go to wipe start and start developing your next million dollar app idea right now all right let's just get back to our video so we have this project which is a lovable clone that we just built using google ai studio and further we did all of the customizations using google anti-gravity so right now as you can see i have just opened this project inside google anti-gravity and this project has some environment variables as well so we have these two environment variables both of these are api keys the first one is gemini api key to use ai and gemini 3 inside our project and the second one is this publishable key from clerk to use the clerk authentication system into our project so the first thing that we are going to do we are going to upload our source code on github so this is github just go to github.com and then just sign up and start using it absolutely for free and here you can just now create a new repository simply just click on this top right button this plus icon in here then simply just click on this new repository button and now just give your project a name i'll just give it lovable clone and that's it so now i will just uh change the visibility to maybe private because this project is going to be a private project if you keep it public so anyone can actually access your project source code so make sure to keep it private and then you can simply just click on this create repository button and now your github repository has been created and now you need to just run these commands inside your project source code inside google anti-gravity so i can simply just like copy this first of all which is git init so i am going to run this command and it will initialize git inside our project so i'll just run this command git init and it has initialized an empty git repository in here right inside our uh, project directory the next command that we need to run is this git add and then space and then enter this dot press enter and it will just like stage everything for the commit just run this command git add the first command is git in it the second command is git add space dot and then just enter that and then it will just stage everything for next commit the next command is this commit command so this command actually contains the commit if you have ever visited a github repository you know there will be like commit messages for all of the commits so this is that message we can just copy this command from here and then now you can simply just customize your message to anything else press enter i think the next thing is you need to just now run this command which will actually connect your project source code which is locally on your computer with this github repository that you have just created so simply just copy it from here paste it in here and that's it next thing is now you need to just run this final command which is to push your code online on github sorry it was actually branch conflict so i'm just going to instead of main just going to use master so press enter and now it is going to push all of our code online on this github repository now if i just refresh it you can see our project source code complete project source code is in here lovable clone is in here and you can see it was committed just a minute ago and this is the commit message that that we just like customized so far we have just pushed our code on github we have still not deployed our project this is just the source code now the next step is to deploy your project source code onto a server there are plenty of different options but i will recommend you using the easiest ones which is you can either use Versal, you can use it absolutely for free and also you can use netlify as well you can use both of these hosting providers these are not like hosting providers these are like less servers where you don't need to like manage all of those like server side headaches unlike amazon web services or unlike something like hostinger every time you have to deploy a project you have to like go through a lot of different steps so Versal and netlify just automate that process you can just sign up on Versal and netlify using your github account or simply just a simple google account in my case i'm just going to use Versal and from here i'm just going to click on this add new button and then simply just click on this add new project simply just click on that and now you can see all of my latest github repositories are fast in here automatically it will actually ask you to connect your uh, github account once you connect that then it will just fetch all of your github repositories in 
here and then the first thing is this lovable clone that the latest code that i just pushed in here and i'll simply click on this import button and now what i can do before clicking on this deploy button i can simply just like add my environment variables in here so these are the environment variables these are two different environment variables i'll just copy it from here and now i will just like paste both of these in here once i have pasted them i'll simply just click on this deploy button and now it should start deploying this project keep in mind always like in 90 percent cases you are going to have an error for the first time when you have, whenever you will deploy you're going to have a deployment error i'll just guide you in a minute how you can fix like those deployment errors okay perfect in our case it was deployed automatically so without any error it was deployed but in case if you had any sort of errors what you're gonna do you're gonna just like copy those errors from error log you can find your errors inside this logs section in here and if there were any errors it will show these errors in here you can just like copy those errors from there and then just paste those errors inside anti-gravity or any other ai code editor and then ask it to now fix those errors for you but luckily our project just got deployed straight away and now it has just created this link this is a subdomain of dot versal dot app so i can simply just click on this and now you can just access this project publicly anywhere if i just click on sign in you can see i can sign in as well so that's amazing we just deployed this project right now on versal that's amazing next thing is now you need to connect your domain name to this project so let's suppose if you had a domain name something like i don't know openlovable.com or dot uk or whatever so now you need to connect that domain name in here so for to do that what you need to do first of all you need to buy a domain name you can either use something like codeddy.com or some other domain name providers maybe something like namecheap.com any those sort of like providers and then you can just like buy a domain name from here for as cheap as i think for a couple of pounds or like a couple of dollars uh, you can in fact like buy a domain name for less than a pound as well less than a dollar sorry because i'm based in uk so pound is just always so so just find a domain name from here so let's suppose i just searched for this free lovable and let's just see if there is any similar domain name available so there is free dash lovable.com you can just like buy it for i think 0.01 dollars you can just like add it to your cart buy it and then simply you can just like own this domain name now the next step is to connect that domain name that you just purchased inside in here inside versal so to do that what you can do you can just like go to your settings and now you can just like go to your domains section in here and from here you can just click on this add domain button and now you can just like enter your domain name in here so let's suppose i'll just choose this domain which is invoice.app that i just purchased randomly i don't know for what so i'll just enter that in here press enter and click on save now you need to like add some details inside your this like your dns settings so for each domain name provider you'll always have this dns settings in here simply just click on this you need to add some dns records in your dns settings so the first dns record that you need to add is this particular one so i can simply just copy this value from here and then i can simply just click on this add new record button and from here i can just choose an option and in this case it was i think a so the record type is a and i can just choose a and the record name is simply just enter this add press enter that value that it provided and now click on save so you just added the first one and now let's just add the second record the second record is this one now we need to add the c name so i can simply just click on add new record make sure that you don't have an existing c name if you have one simply just delete that so just choose c name from here and then give it a name i think the name was www and now just enter that c name value press on save so there is another actually c name record so now we have just added the c name there was a c name already i just deleted that and now we are good to go and let me just click on refresh on and you can see it is actually going to recognize the updates it can usually take up to one to two hours to update it but let's just see how fast it is but in some cases it can actually aut update automatically so it is loading data we need to add few more records i think we need to add these two as well so what i'll do i'll just copy these records from here and then add these as well both are these are a record so i just added both of those records from here let's just refresh if we have so this record for i think c name that was verified 
but right now it is just taking time for this one so once it will be added then you can easily just access your application on your official domain name so this is our official domain name so you can then easily access your application in there there is a simpler way as well you can just directly just change the name servers so you can directly just add the virtual name servers inside your domain name provider so you can if you just go to this name server section from here if you just click on this change name servers click on i use my own name servers and from here you can just like provide your own name servers in here and if i just like paste that that's it click on save so you can directly just change your name servers to virtual name servers as well again this takes some time to verify so as soon as it will just verify these changings you can then directly access your website officially on your official domain name so this is how you can deploy any project that you just developed it doesn't matter if you just developed that project using bolt or lovable or cursor winds or whatever ai code editor or whatever whatever methodology you used you can directly deploy your project on versal identify just one more point for wipe coders and absolute beginners you cannot deploy your mobile applications like this to deploy your mobile applications you need to buy an app store account and google play store account there's a completely different method for that this method is only for web applications not for mobile applications sorry by the way by the time we're just like talking it has already identified all of the updates and now it is just generating an ssl certificate with ssl certificate it will not show that not secure website tag that it usually shows inside in here so after generating the ssl certificate your website is good to go you have just like professionally now launched your first website if i just open this domain name and i can access my allowable website in here so in invoice.app if you just open that you can can just like have that uh, project that i just developed is in google anti-gravity so yeah, if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section and i see you next video bye bye